Have you ever wondered what is the difference between the gold plated and the gold, gold vermeil? Watch this video where we're gonna talk about it and establish what's the difference between two of them. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Olga. I talk about jewelry here on this channel on the weekly basis. Consider subscribing. Don't forget the like, don't forget the bell and uh, we start. I made recently a video about the gold plating, 10 things you need to know about the gold plating. You can click just the link about there or I'll leave the link in the description however i have not covered yet the gold vermeil many people still do confuse gold plated jewelry with gold vermeil jewelry and that's totally fine because these two types of jewelry they they do look actually the same just by looking at it you won't be able to tell the difference however there is a difference even though they share some uh, things in common <laughs> so let's start with the gold plating the gold plating of the jewelry is a process when the jewelry is basically dipped into the layer of the gold actually of different purity the base for the gold plated jewelry could be any type of the metal so it could be silver it could be brass it could be uh, any other stainless actually the purity of the gold uh, used for gold plating could be from uh, you know from 9k up to 22k also the thickness of the gold layer on the gold plated jewelry the rice as well it could be from uh, 0.5 up to 2.5 uh, micron. However, in order for jewelry to be considered the gold vermeil, thickness of the gold plated, plated layer should be not less than 2.5 microns. Anything less than 2.5 microns is considered gold plated and not gold vermeil. What are the base metals for gold plating and for gold vermeil? Gold plated jewelry uh, typically is used any type of metal. So it could be, I mentioned already, it could be silver, it could be metal base, stainless, uh, brass, copper, whilst for gold vermeil it will always always be sterling silver the process of creating gold vermeil is almost similar to the gold plating it's the same dipped into the gold however in case of the gold vermeil the uh, period of time the jewelry is kept in the gold liquid is actually longer this is in order to achieve a thicker composition of the gold as the top layer of the jewel so just remember that the gold vermeil technique is similar to the gold plating it just requires slightly thicker layer of the gold plating for it to be considered as gold vermeil also it's worth mentioning that vermeil can be easily confused with a solid gold however the color of the gold will slightly differ. The main difference between these two types of jewelry also lays in its durability. And the fact is that gold vermeil jewelry will last you longer than gold plated. The difference between these uh, jewelries also lies in pricing. The gold vermeil jewelry is usually uh, priced slightly higher because of the base metal used in it, which is sterling silver, and the thicker layer of the gold. Whilst for gold plating jewelry, any type of base metal can be used and this will define the price of the jewelry piece uh, as well. So now the main question is what is better gold plated or gold vermeil? I always keep saying it's a matter of personal preference and uh, it's a matter of what jewelry you can afford. But in terms of um, gold plated and gold vermeil they are almost similar to be honest. There are certain advantages in between them as well as disadvantages. The main advantage of the gold vermeil I see the durability and actually the quality however they will come in a slightly higher price than gold plated jewelry they will last you longer and if you intend to wear your jewelry on a daily basis better go to gold verme if you're looking for slightly cheaper options uh, but the same look go for gold plated remember to look after your jewelry anyway if you're looking to build a collection of the gold look jewelry without the price of the gold then go for either gold plated or for gold verme it's up to you what you will choose by the end of the day. I hope this video was useful and uh, brought some value to you. If so, uh, hit the like, don't forget the bell, subscribe, just support me. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!